Hey, it is Chris. It is Tuesday, August the 13th. It is midday when I am recording this because, man, I've been busy, but I got my coffee. Let's do this thing. Okay, so you know, if you've been following my videos, that I am very interested in the electoral map for obvious reasons, which is that's the way you get elected president of the United States. And you also know, if you've been following my videos, that... I have long focused on Pennsylvania as the single most important state in the country for both campaigns, but especially for Democrats if they want to get to 270 electoral votes. Because I will tell you one more time, if Kamala Harris loses Pennsylvania and wins Arizona, Nevada, Michigan, and Wisconsin, she still loses to Donald Trump in the Electoral College. Okay, so Pennsylvania is critical, especially to Democrats. But something caught my eye earlier this week. I was looking through ad buys, where the campaigns are spending their money, and I saw that Donald Trump's campaign just paced, placed $24 million worth of TV ads in Georgia. Now, that's interesting, okay? Because Georgia is one of the states that I would say, as Biden faded post-debate, Georgia was one of the states that a lot of people sort of took off the board. Um Yes, it was a state he won in 2020. Yes, Democrats had won Senate races in 2021 there. But I think the thinking was, he's probably not going to win there. It's a state in the South. It votes a lot more often for Republican presidential candidates and Democratic presidential candidates. So probably not going to happen. But it now looks like Georgia with Kamala Harris and a black woman and Georgia's population, voting population is probably 30% black. It's now much more in play. So let me go through just, I'm going to go through the last five polls that have been done in Georgia. Okay. Uh, Tied, Trump plus two, Harris plus one, tied, Trump plus four. The average, 538's polling average in the state is Trump 45.8, Harris 45.5. So basically a tie, right? Now that's really, really interesting because Georgia is not a smaller state. It's not New Hampshire. It's not even Nevada. Sorry, Nevada. It is big, 16 electoral votes. Now, Pennsylvania has 19, but 16 electoral votes. That is a very big deal. Now, if you just take Georgia and put it in the toss-up column, even if Trump wins Pennsylvania, I'm looking at my maps, even if Trump wins Pennsylvania, you're at 268 Democrats, 254 Republicans. So that just puts a lot more places in play. For example, if, she, if Harris won Georgia, even if she lost Pennsylvania, she could lose Arizona and still win. She could lose Wisconsin and still win. She could lose Nevada and still win. Now, if she lost Michigan, it would be 269, 269, and the election would go to the House and it would be chaos. But the, the point here is campaigns do not spend $24 million on races, states that they think are totally safe and they don't need to worry about. Donald Trump is clearly now worried about Georgia in a way he wasn't a month ago or even six weeks ago. And what that means is that Harris's electoral map, which I have said many times, it's a pretty narrow path, is a little bit broader if Georgia is really in play. Polling suggests it is in play, basically a tied race at this point. Spending suggests it's in play. So I think it's in play. And what I would propose is that while I still think Pennsylvania is the single most important state, the state that both sides need to win more than any other state, I'm putting Georgia at number two now on that list, that Georgia now is a state that if Harris wins, she probably is going to win the presidency. And if Trump loses, he's probably going to lose the presidency. So yes, Georgia may be the new Pennsylvania. All right. Uh, as always, I ask you to do four things. I ask you to uh, subscribe to this channel. Please just hit that subscribe button. It's free. No skin off your back. Just do it. Subscribe. You get my videos every time they come out. You'll get it. Uh, like this video, comment on this video, and tell 10 friends. Last time I checked, we were at 35 and a half thousand subscribers, pushing to get to 40. Would love to get to 40 by the end of the month. Let's do it, people. Let's make it happen. Pre-Labor Day, 40,000. Ear itch. All right, take care. Everybody be well. See you tomorrow.